Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and for today we are going to review InPlay's best budget mouse, or hands down their best mouse yet. It is the InPlay M066 Honeycomb mouse. Okay guys, let's go. Okay guys, InPlay has a new mouse. Like I said, this is the M066 Honeycomb mouse. And I have to say it's really cool, and I did say it's the best, so let me explain first. Now we have a lot of honeycomb mice out there, it's very, it's trending and lightweight mice have been a trend la since last year, early 2021 or late 2020. Yeah, because normally when it comes to mice and keyboards, the heavier the better, but for mice, a lot of people or a lot of gamers like a lighter mouse. That's why honeycomb mice have been trending nowadays. Now, this mice from, from InPlay is only 200 pesos. Yeah, that's right, it's very budget friendly. Now, is it worth it? For me, I think it's absolutely worth it, but it does have a few issues. I'm going to show you guys my personal opinion, and then I will show you guys the lighting effects and the clicks or sounds that it makes. So, first impression, I, I was amazed that InPlay was able to make a honeycomb mouse of their own. It comes in black and it comes in white. Since my setup is is black, or mainly black, I bought the black one, okay? And I'm holding the box like this because I've already unboxed it. It's already over here, as you can see. Okay, so what can I say about this mouse? Well, a lot of honeycomb mice are lightweight, actually all are lightweight, and this one, I do have to say, is the lightest mouse I've ever held in my hand, okay? Now, I didn't actually, I didn't actually test it all the honeycomb mice out there, but this is really like compared to my Red Dragon Predator. Okay, so here it is, so you have the DPI button over here, and you have the holes here, okay, it has that ergonomic vibe to it. And the side bus side buttons, the textured grip, left and right m mouse triggers as well. Now, what I do like about this is the base light over here. Okay, it reminds me of the Logitech Logitech mouse. Mm -hmm. And I do like that it's very bright. It's not dim compared to other mice. And the quality of the product that they use to make this mice isn't cheap. I mean, it doesn't feel very cheap compared to its last models. This feels like a high quality mouse, but the thing that I have a problem with this is when I was playing Valorant, I've noticed there are side buttons. I had to press this, you know, stronger than usual because the buttons are actually quite deep compared to my my Red Dragon Predator. Now the textured grip over here, the textured grip over here, yeah, you can feel the grip to it, but it's not made out of rubber compared to my other main mouse. Okay, but. Yeah, there's still a difference to it. There's still a grip, but not that. It's not that strong, okay? So, for me, this is like a small nitpick, but they really need to work on these two side buttons over here. It's too deep. Other than that, I have no problems with this whatsoever. Alright, so let's take a look at the RGB. Okay, that was the RGB. Now let's take a look at the sound. Okay, so if I were to rate this mouse, I'll give this mouse a solid 7.5 out of 10, okay? Because side buttons are really important when it comes to gaming nowadays, okay? And of course, they also need to work on their side grip as well, okay? But when it comes to clicks, when it comes to the weight, when it comes to the RGB, this is a really good gift for your children, for your cousins, for a late night Christmas gift, for a late... New Year's gift, this is a really good mouse. Okay, I highly recommend it to newcomers, but if you're looking for a more advanced mouse, this isn't for you. But when it comes to a budget-friendly mice or mouse, this is really good. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video, guys. If you want more in-play videos, please subscribe, and if you want to see my other in-play video over first mechanical keyboard, please 
click over here, okay? Thank you so much, guys, and have a good night. Bye!